Good morning, T-Wolves. I'm Joseph. And I'm Emmanuel. And this is T-Wolf TV for Tuesday, November 15th. Today during lunch, our THS FBLA will be hosting a Frazzle Slushy Chugging competition to promote American Enterprise Day. There will also be a cornhole competition. Come down to the comments to participate and win some prizes. Titans Den will also be participating in March of Dimes. This week, 100% of the proceeds will be donated to March of Dimes, which helps fund care for prematurely born babies in Instacare hospitals. Our THS Latinos in Action are holding a fundraiser tomorrow, November 16th, at SOPAS at 55 South State Street, Orm, from 4 to 9 p.m. Come get a good meal and support LIA. It is Orm City's Kindness Week. Today's theme is kindness in our neighborhoods. Go out of your way to do service for your neighbor. You can make cookies, clean someone's garage, smile, or anything to spread kindness. Wednesday's theme is kindness is our schools and workplaces. Reach out to someone you know is feeling down at school and work. Our THS Multicultural Club is gathering winter clothing from now until Thanksgiving break. Sometimes people move to Utah from warmer climates and have no warm clothing to get them through our cold Utah winters. The club will set up a T-Wolf closet to help out students and their families. Here's club president. President Nicholas with the details. Hi, the Multicultural Club is needing donations this week and before Thanksgiving. Um, we need all kinds of winter clothing, so that includes gloves, um, just anything that prepares people for the winter time. It's so important for um, our club and it's so important for everyone and we just um, really need it for this time. Um, if you guys can donate it, it we'd really appreciate it. So please bring it to room 221. Mrs. Hansen, and yeah, we'd really appreciate it. Please bring your new and gently used coats, gloves, hats, sweaters, and hoodies to Mrs. Hansen's room at number 221. Up next, Dr. Jensen with the Pride of the Pack presentation. Good morning, T-Wolves. We are here today with our mountain biking team, and they have done awesome things uh, this year. Uh, we're going to talk briefly to, to Coach Dave, and Dave, tell us about what these guys do in this sport. All right, so the mountain biking team is, is great this year. We have five races, including state, throughout the year. Um, we practice for six months of the year. We start practicing in June, two to three times a week. Um, we had a lot of fun this year, a lot of challenges. First race was just, it was a mud bath. We couldn't ride bikes, we were carrying bikes, they were so muddy, wheels wouldn't turn. Um, raced in 100 plus degree weather, and then state turned out to be a, just a sandstorm for some of these guys racing, and they couldn't even see, it was blowing so bad and, and the sand, but a lot of fun, incredible athletes. These guys are just, they're awesome. Awesome, thanks for representing us so well, you guys. Uh, we're gonna uh, highlight a few folks, James Lewis and Jansen Payne, both, uh, petition to race in a harder division, uh, and then they did really well. Tell us a little bit about what your experience, uh, James. Um, like the going up the group because I wanted to be able to go to state, but in the division I was in, I wasn't able to go to state, so I had to go up a division so that I could go to state, and I actually did really well in JVC versus JVD. Awesome. Uh, Trace, uh, started out if you don't know anything about mountain biking one of the things that's interesting is if you're just starting you actually have to start at the very back which makes it really hard to move up and trace uh, started at the back of the pack on the varsity boys but he quickly made his way into the top five at region which is really hard to do so trace give us one highlight from your season um, i'm gonna say my highlight was the first race uh just like the mud bath it was a super cool experience and uh just one you don't get very often, so yeah. Very cool. We also have Anna, and Anna earned the, the league gives one scholarship, and this is a big scholarship, a $5,000 scholarship. Anna ended up getting that scholarship. Anna, tell us about how you, like what were the requirements and, and what uh, allowed you to get that? Well, frankly, I didn't really expect to get anything, but it was just so much fun to put my six years of experience down onto paper and just frankly how much mountain biking has changed my life and been just a huge impact on my life and it was great to celebrate what mountain biking was and even better to perhaps inspire others as well. Uh, I'm gonna ask Paige Bloomer or Paige a question really quick. Paige, tell us one thing you learned about life from mountain biking because as you know here 
it's about more than math and science and English. It's about what are you learning about life? Um, I really learned that you have to persevere. Like you have to put in the work because mountain biking is the kind of thing where if you're really lazy about it, you're not going to have a lot of fun. Um, I know that for for me at least, I had a really hard time like going up the super long hills. But over time, I got better and better. And then when I finally would get to the top of the hill and realize how much I've how much like how well I've done um, and how much I've improved, um, I would just like raise my arms and shout to the heavens saying, yeah, I did it. Woo. Nice. Okay, guys. Again, you know, it's school's about a lot more than just uh, the things you learn in class. Uh, hopefully you're learning this, the six C's because uh, that's really what it's all about. Um, but it's important to learn what you need to do in class as well. So uh, stay caught up. Uh, we're coming up on midterm already. And just always remember, it's a great day to be a T-Wolf. That's it for us. For T-Wolf TV, I'm Joseph. And I'm Emmanuel. Remember, T-Wolves, we, we love, love you all. all.